Hey there, I'm John Siskovich, and I have gotten comfortable in front of a camera uh, over the years. I'm still not comfortable taking pictures of myself, but I want to share the information that I have to share so badly with you, and everybody seems to appreciate it, that I continue to do so. Taking selfies is difficult, and on today's episode, we're going to look at a case study of Chris Christensen, who took the, my favorite selfie of the last 10 years. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how many selfies of myself I've taken. This is my favorite picture ever, and we're gonna talk about it today. All right, so before we even get into how wonderful that picture is, I asked Chris uh, if he, or I asked the general audience if they would submit a paragraph about their farm and a couple photos to back up the fact that they bought a chicken tractor book, they built the chicken tractors, they raised chickens in it, and they happened to take photographs that they could share. You never know where the value is going to come when you take a photograph. If a picture is worth a thousand words, I've got 5,000 words to share with you today. Uh, so Chris started in the brooder and he had those little fuzzy baby chicks and was able to, it's a low light photo. This bird's a little blurry. This guy's in focus. It's great. Let's see if we can edit it just a touch. We're going to hit automatic. It brings up everything a little bit, brings our whites out, gives us some contrast and cleans up this bird just a little bit. Now this bird looks like it's going a little cockeyed. Um, so what we're going to do is just take our cropping, straighten it out just a little bit. So this bird right here, our focus, and we're going to, let's crop down to a square and that diminishes our blurry bird right here by starting to crop them out. But I don't want to lose this guy because it's super fun. It goes from a bird to I'm a bird, you know, look at this. I'm a bird. Proud to be a bird. Love it. Love it. I'm a bird. I'm a bird. It's great. And uh, Chris got to capture this moment. You can see shavings. You can see some construction. It's just, here's a cute baby bird. Our season's starting up. Boom. Bird selfie. Here we go. We're going to cancel, discard our changes, back right out, and then go over to our chicken tractor picture. Shows fields beyond the, the grass that the birds are on. Tells a story. I'm sorry, Chris, may not be the best picture in the world, but it is a good picture in that it exists and you're able to use it to tell a story. Everybody can be a photographer. All you need is a phone these days to be a talented photographer. I'll, I shoot a lot of my marketing photography and general photos on my cell phone. This is the iPhone 10. I'm dreaming about a 12, but I'm waiting uh, till it gets cheaper. Um, and it exists, so it's great. So this video is about taking selfies. Now, when you're taking a picture of yourself, you don't have to stand there and look at the camera and try to fake a smile. There are a lot of things you can do to make that easier. And one of them is having somebody else take a picture of you that counts as a selfie. Uh, because if we are going to know your farmer, know your food, market your story, relationship marketing, building relationships with other people, they don't want to just see that you're the food that they're you're raising because anybody can take a picture in grass and have it be a tight shot and it doesn't matter because you can take a bird out of a barn put it in the grass take a picture put it back in the barn and say we're cage free they have access to pasture you want to see that this person chris is raising birds outside and that's great that that's our transparency you can back up further and show the field you could show a drone shot um you, the key here is seeing birds out on grass and this is like grass that was cut super short uh maybe a colder time of year I actually know it's a colder time of year because when he shot these photographs there was snow on the ground at one point so there's a chicken tractor in the snow um doing its thing keeping the birds out of the weather and uh these birds are outside you raise them seasonally, you could push the edge, the margins of the season, and have a little snow on the ground. They don't grow as fast. You wouldn't want young birds. Older birds uh, can, to a certain extent, survive in this weather, but you don't want to raise them in the snow too much. We're getting into management, and we're going to stick to selfies here. 
great depth of field where you just see Chris and the chicken. He's caring. He's loving. He has this bird. Maybe they're doing a dramatic dancing dip. Um, you have the chicken tractor for reference in the background, bokeh and a little out of focus. Great depth of field, wonderful photograph, something that you can use to say, we care about our birds, we care about you, we want to provide value, come buy our chicken, buy our farm products, our cattle, our beef, or whatever, uh, honey, vegetables. Now, I have, oh, I'm pushing 700 videos on YouTube. Uh, I have taken 100,000 photographs on my very large hard drive. Uh, I wanted to share with you today some screen mirroring. Here we go. I wanted to show you my cell phone. Uh, I take a lot of my pictures and video uh, just using my phone. I've been taking all the photo, the videos that I've shared from the field this year on my cell phone. And you can it automatically sorts a lot of your types of photography. I imagine it's very similar on an Android-based phone. This is an iPhone. But it has a selfie section. And we go to the selfie section. Oh, there's a lot of John Siskovich. Let's scroll. Oh, so much John. And there's videos of me. Occasionally it picks up my kids. Uh, there's me like I'm holding a duck. And the duck is not cooperating. And I'm trying desperately to like smile, hold the duck, hold the camera. Yay, I love this. The sun is shining. The duck is like, I don't want to be held right now. But I took multiple photographs. Ooh, that was nice. I took multiple photographs in order to get one picture that I actually appreciated. Uh, and we go on and on. And there's like some family photos of me. These are great. I was shooting a video and you can take pictures during the video. And that was me just trying things out with my bug eye glasses. And it, you can see, yeah, here's Connie. When I take a picture of me and my good friend, Connie, the little chicken, uh, to get that good shot where she's not blurred from moving her head because it's a chicken and they move their head so fast. When I go to take a selfie, when I take a picture in the field, I t hit that shutter button and I'm like, bing, 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 bing. And I'll snap several of them. Look at this guy, this guy right here. What a doofus. Um, I'll take several pictures because you never know which one is going to make people laugh and you want to have some levity in your farm marketing, which is going to make people cry and feel sincere. Like our picture of Chris where he's holding the chicken. He just cares so much. Chris, oh yes, the power. Uh, and just to be goofy with it because no one has to ever see these until you want someone to see it. And then the picture exists and you can share it on your website, on your social media, market your farm, make your money, and stay in business. So the biggest takeaway with trying to take a farm selfie is courage. Have the courage to have your picture taken, to take a picture of yourself, to know that my eyes, this, is a, this eye is slightly smaller than this eye, so this is my good side of my face, so that the bigger eye is further away from the camera lens, which would make it smaller in perspective, which then makes my eyes look symmetrical. And you know, there's little things that you can be very analytical or you don't have to be. I wear sunglasses, so I don't have to think about my eyes at all. And I'd rather deal with the cheap $15 sunglasses being on screen than my eyes. I'm not insecure about my eyes. I don't even know why I brought this up, but take pictures of yourself. Share them, know your farmer, know your food, show people that you care, show your customers who they're building a relationship with, and that will help your farm marketing dramatically. Thanks for taking the time to watch this long freaking video. Thank you, Chris, for sending in your pictures of raising chickens in the Siskovich all-purpose chicken tractor. And until next time, I will see you out in the field.